Hi everybody, so I thought it was time to get my planner ready for 2020. Um, this is a mini binder that I picked up from Staples. Um, and it probably looks familiar because this is the same binder that I have my book log in, which there's a whole nother video. Um, but I did change it slightly, so I'm gonna make a separate video on that as well. So let's get started. So the reason why I'm using this binder is because my book log is not taking up a lot of space yet. So I thought I thought I might as well just kind of get a good use out of it. Um, so I picked up a few things. Um, I do want to decorate the outside a little bit more. So I like my cover because I'm obsessed with Moulin Rouge, but I think I want to do like a red um, watercolor thing back here and then maybe even on the side of the binder as well. So I went to Michael's and I picked up a few things. Um, the first thing I got is a Recollections Creative Year calendar pack. Um, I also picked up this fun little like sticky note thing for the binder. Um, and then also a little sleeve zipper pouch to put pens and everything in. Now I do want to note that the Recollections uh, planner things are actually meant for the specific binder that they sell at Michael's. Um, it is the six ring binder, um, which does not fit in my three ring binder. So I am going to have to alter the holes slightly and use my hole puncher, which I actually have already done that for uh, my sticky notes and for my plastic uh, pouch in here fits like that and there you go and I'm going to have to do that to all of these pages here Okay, so now everything is hole punched and I went ahead and put it in my binder. It also came with this like clear um, insert right here, but I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I don't really need it, so I'm not gonna use it for now. Um, but I'll just do a quick flip through so you can kind of see the different artwork for each of the months. Um, so this is January. And each one starts with a notes and thoughts section. So you kind of have this whole empty page right here. And then all this is undated. So this is the monthly view. And then we have the weekly view right here um, with some extra space for notes at the bottom. And that's just kind of how it continues all the way till you get to the back. There's another like empty page right here for notes and thoughts. Um, so this is the February cover, which is so cute. <laughs> And then here's March. And then April. May. June. July. August, which I'm obsessed with this one. I think it's really cute as well. I mean, all of them are. <laughs> September, October, November, and December. Um, and what's cool is that you could actually just reuse these. Um, so once you're done filling out you know, the, the weekly and the monthly, you can just throw those away. And then I guess you could just reuse these for another planner or for something else. Also, I can put this sleeve up here if I wanted to, 
which I don't know if I'm gonna keep this here because once I have the pens inside, it kind of is a little bit more bulky. Um, and then also, I think I'll put this here. And then I do have some stickers just from an old planner that I had, so I might as well just put those right here. Oh, I bought these like magnetic page markers at um, Walmart. So I think I'm actually just going to add one of them here, just so I kind of have it. And yeah, that is my dog in the background. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep it simple, keep my come what may um, picture on the front and then the little watercolor on the back um, with just leaving this white edge here. Um, Cause I don't want to cut the plastic and then have a hole right there. So that's it, that's the planner that I'm going to use for 2020. Mm -hmm.